the focus of this presentation is to let you understand the theorems. One angle subtended by a chord of the circle on the same side of the chord are equal, or you can simply say angles in the same segment of the circle are equal. It has converse, and this is the abbreviation. Red angles in the same segment equal. Equal chords of a circle subtend equal angles at the circumference of a circle. It is a direct consequence of number one. Equal chords of a circle subtend equal angles at the center of a circle. Again, it is a direct consequence of one, and this is the abbreviation. So let us understand number one, rewriting it in the if then form. If a chord of a circle subtends angles in the same segment, then the angles are equal. In diagram form, here is chord dotted in red, it will subtend this angle and this angle. Or if you consider the chord dotted in green to subtend this angle and this angle. So we are saying at the end of the day, the red angles are equal, subtended by the dotted red chord. The green angles are equal, subtended by the dotted green chord. So the given represent the hypothesis. They are required to prove the conclusion. Now, to prove the theorem, all what we are saying is we are given the code AB, then we are saying it is subtending the angle I have labeled alpha and beta. So we need to show that that alpha and beta are equal. Right, the thinking pattern is start with an end in mind. Firstly, think in terms of the end. Alpha is equals to beta, that's where we want to arrive. So the transitive properties, the relationship between three elements is of hand in this type of a proof. E.g. transitive properties of equality. If A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then A is equal to C. You see that B has a relationship with A, C has a relationship with C, then automatically A has a relationship with C. That is transitive property of equality because I'm using the equal sign. So to prove that alpha is equal to beta, one has to try and come up with the equation that contain alpha and beta. This would then lead to the application of the transitive property of equality. Right, now, secondly, think in terms of the start, the given, stated facts that come with the problem to solve. What theorems or properties can you deduce from the given. A chord is obtaining an angle on the circumference suggests angle at center is equals twice angle at circumference theorem. That is all what is the, the juice. Then this will lead to the formulation of equation that will involve or contain beta and alpha. As we consider them separately, that means beta considered with the angle at the center, then alpha considered with the angle at the center. During this line of thinking, you then draw a third triangle starting at the points where the code touches the circumference, but with the other vertex at the center of the circle. So, in summary, then this is the third triangle A or B. The dotted in green is the third one. Then we have the angle at the center to relate with beta and to relate with theta. So as such, theta is equals to twice alpha using that theorem. Then theta again is equals to twice beta using the same theorem. So from there, using the transitive property of equality from one and two, these two equations, we are saying theta, theta equal to these two. So these two should also be equal. So we divide both sides by two to get alpha is equal to beta. Then the proof is complete. Right, let us look at the direct consequence. Equal cause of a circle, subtend equal angles at the circumference of a circle has converse. 
in diagram form, these are the equal chords, right? Then we are saying the subtend equal angles. The converse will be if we are given that this angle is equal to this one, then we can conclude that these two chords are equal. So the given is the hypotenuse, then the required to prove is the uh, conclusion, right? Then when it comes to um, 1.2, a direct consequence of the main one, equal chords of a circle subtend equal angles at the center of a circle. And again, this has converse. Rewriting it, if equal cause of a circle subtend angles at the center, then the angles are equal. In a diagram, here we have these two equal codes. This is the center. Then we are simply saying these angles are the same. Right? The um, converse would be if we are told that these two angles are equal, then you can conclude that the codes are the same. So the given represent the hypothesis, the required to prove is the conclusion. One can prove the theorem using congruence of triangles. You can use the side, side, side. Why? Because if we start from here, consider this triangle and this one, right? You see that this and this and this and this are ready. So at the end, given this side equal to that, this, equal to that, this equal to that, you use the side, side, side to prove that the um, two triangles are congruent. Then you go on to say now the angles are equal using the corresponding parts of congruent triangle are congruent. Key takeaway, a chord divides the circle into two parts or segments. Equal angles obtained by a chord of a circle should be on the same side of the chord, that is segment, right? Or what it means is we are considering this chord, the angles we are comparing to say they are equal, they are on the same side of the arc starting from here, going right round up to this, right? If we are to consider this small arc, then the angles should be seen to be subtended by the same arc. Always start with an end in mind. This leads to the use of the theorem angle at center is equal to twice the angle at the circumference. Drawing um, a third triangle containing angle at the center subtended by the same chord to prove that alpha is equal to theta. This is the situation. Three triangles, but this is the exact one which you are supposed to add on. The transitive property of equality is useful in this group. I hope you understood this theorem. Thank you.